monsters block my way. So, <laughs> hello and welcome everyone to another Mine Colonies Let's Play with the Developers episode. I've just heard one of the citizens crying around because of a mob. Let me let get some sleep really quick. So we take care of that. And then I'm going to say hi John, hi Superminix, hi Mizen, hi Minecraft Shirley. How are you guys doing? Um, we are in a brand new Mine Colonies version, including a brand new Structurized version as well. Um, oh! That was probably the monster that blocked the way of the citizen, I guess. Um, it should be fine now, I guess. No, it's fine now, yes. I was lagging a little... Uh, let me just kill off a few other things. Here we go. That should help a bit as well. Freeing a little bit of memory. Um, We do have the beekeeper yet now in the game. Including the model and hopefully a bunch of schematics, but we do not have a hive yet so No beekeeper to spawn and those are spruce, but they don't have spruce saplings. I I just remembered So that's probably why they might not be generating it Yes, now, yeah, we have the new structures and the newest alphas should be working fine together with the newest structures. Um, hi, Set Horizon. Oh, I'm going to get some bird saplings then. Uh, I'm going to place some bird saplings around. Let me see if we either have here in storage or if I would have to go somewhere else to get some bird saplings though. Um, do we have bird saplings there? Uh, let me get the axe. Um, oh, our miner died, Makayla. Uh, what a pity. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay, let's place some bird saplings around. I'm going to cut down this tree here quickly to place like what two bird saplings here and then we can talk about the fixes that are in here oops okay so that should be fine the rest I'm going to put in the warehouse so where's my build tool I don't have a build tool at the moment, so let me get one of those quickly. Um, meanwhile, I'm going to show something that is currently still work in progress. It's currently resetting and restart, so it could be annoying. But the first time you click on a builder hut, this one here is going to show up. So kind of like a quick guide to mine colonies. Uh, to the GUIs of mine colonies, of the things that people usually forget. If it's right, understood, it's then going to to stop basically. Hi, Tiny Tots, how are you? Uh, I don't have cobblestone with me, so that should be already, I guess, a useful update for the future. Let me get some cobblestone here. I need to drop off a little bit of stuff as well. I do have a build tool in my inventory. I don't. Where? Ah, here. Oh lord. <laughs> I've been stressing too much around with Minecraft code today, I guess. Um, other thing we've added. Oh. Let me take care of that too quickly. Ah, 
Huh? Where is it? Don't fall into the ravine. I killed it. <laughs> I made it. Um, another thing we've added is in the build tool, you're going to have this escape to leave message now, which I think will probably be relatively useful. And when you leave with escape, it tells you that you can click a block to then again adjust the position. Right? So I guess that will be fairly useful. And yeah, I've just heard the other Enderman too. Let me see if I can find that Enderman. It's very hacky. Why? Tell me more about it. I want to hear everything. <laughs> I think those will be like some quality of life features I'm going to prevent a lot of questions from being asked in our Discord. We also merged a bunch more information. So this info button here in the huts actually exists in a bunch of huts. Let me just double check and we could probably see it in which huts it exists. Yeah, here in the fishermen. Here. A bunch of information for the fishermen. Let's see what kind of workers have. The delivery men. And the witch, the witch is the worker that is going to take care of a bunch of things. Uh, the shepherd as well. So yes, a bunch of workers now got their info pages ready, which I think is going to be pretty awesome, if you ask me. Um, it needs to override routines of the guard that were private before. That's not a problem. Some routines are private mainly because we didn't need them anywhere else. So if you see the necessity to make them protected, because there you need that to implement the witch AI, I don't see a problem with that, to be honest. Do you see a problem with that, Sam Adams? No. Sam Adams doesn't see a problem with that either. He has our problems. <laughs> <laughs> Why can't I launch Minecraft? Did did uh, you did you up download the structurized the newest structurized from from CurseForge? Oh, I downloaded it from the server. Ah, from the <laughs> that also works. I guess Barbara is a new worker here. And I'm going to go to the to our barracks and assign workers as well. Exactly. So the alchemist is going to be the worker that will craft potions on request. And the witch type is like a guard type. You can like switch here instead of it being an archer. It would be a witch, for example. Okay, here we got five. Okay. Hired here. Here we got five already. Let me close the doors. Let me not pull some add-ons on this one. Okay, we got five on this one too. Okay, now we go to the other one then. Yes, exactly. So the witch type is mainly going to throw like positive potions at um, their um, friendly guards, let's say like that, and negative potions at people they want to attack, basically. On, on a short explanation which should be relatively neat because it kinda has also a support character so having a witch in your army will make you and your guards less squishy yeah exactly that's that's so the guards get better. so that's exactly the idea Kugo of having uh, throwing uh, damage and poison potions at invaders and health potions at our citizens, our guard guards, no Samedans. O only 
very slightly. Oh no, I think I need to adjust barbarians. Um, they should throw the heal potions at your avatar as well. If Shirley hasn't coded that yet, you might want to add that. <laughs> oh, dude. We have a bunch of free citizens. Let me see if there's anything left I can assign in to the combat academy, actually. Well, that could be an interesting thing, what Erevan is pointing out, some add-ons. Like, it should be relatively easy. I think it's... It should be relatively easy to track which blocks barbarians destroy or raiders destroy. No, I think it's pretty hard. Because you don't know if the block... If the raider destroyed was part of a building and... Yeah, but, it, but, it doesn't, but it doesn't matter, right? Does it matter? Just play, replaces every block the barbarians destroyed within the colony area. Yeah, but for example, if you start repairing a building which they are modified and put chest or so in, and then the builder goes and breaks it. No, no, no. I'm not talking about detecting destruction of a building. Just detecting all blocks that were removed by raiders and add the blocks back at those positions. I only hear like 50%. Um, basically, um, let's say we got a barbarian raid with one barbarian. Let's make this easy, right? Hi, Piotrus. And the barbarian is going to destroy on his way two doors, five sandstone blocks, and a wall of a building, right? Yeah. And every block they destroy with remove block, we register in the colony the block. And the builder is then going to place that block back at the location that was destroyed. Also not, not a building repair, but just a block replace. Exactly. That would be relatively easy to detect and fix. And if we only make it within the colony area, then we also avoid the problems of the builder walking very far away to repair some blocks in a tunnel. The colony area is pretty large. Yeah, the colony area can get pretty large, yes. So I caves another colony. <laughs> It's, but yeah, like it's... relatively rarely that should that should run into problems right like here and there the barbarians spawn in a cave like structure a little bit away but it would be a player choice right and we could still make it similarly as it is now the builder will only repair blocks in a 100 block radius around their hut, right? Yeah. So this way you avoid the builders going to unreachable places without outside of the colony. I mean, we could make some extra worker for that as well. It could be it, it could be an extra worker too. Since our builders always are quite busy. Um Digger and Scaffolder are just going to make things things easier. Uh, player destroyed blocks, that's not something we can easily detect in that in that way. Like what was intentionally destroyed and what wasn't. Um, the general idea I have about the Digger and Scaffolder is actually that it's not a type of hut per se. But it's kind of, you know, like the guard types. It's like that, and, but instead of having different um, guard types, we have different builder types. So there would be a builder, um, 
specialized uh, you have like a button in the builder and you got a builder that's specialized on digging a builder that's specialized on this and that and you can choose that basically that is relatively difficult John yeah exactly that's probably I mean it's not going to be a new hut so it's not going to be work for you builders either. <laughs> I think I'm pretty sure you're pretty thankful for that. But oh, let me destroy those. And maybe our builders are bought and want more huts. I mean, there wasn't that many recently. Hmm. Maybe our builders want some more huts. We <laughs> didn't have that many new ones recently. <laughs> And we just we just got also someone working on the um, alchemist, and we just got the beekeeper ready, the rabbit touch and concrete worker. Yeah, sounds like they are bored. Yeah, but I got another list of buildings that are going to be needed one day. Either way, I mean, when our builders are bored, I think they could also make some reduced size options for some buildings because some are pretty large and we got so many buildings and it's getting hard to build them all yeah uh, John is saying he's getting behind already as this yes um, in terms of other news the server is basically ready as Wissy told me hey um, the, ser the new server is basically ready and he's going to be working on setting it up um, on the weekend and next week and we're aiming at a release of Friday next week so in terms of that uh, I thought that we probably wrap up this column here until Sunday and we could then start already on a new a, one and start on testing an, and such to make sure it's working. Exactly. So we start already on yeah. Monday on the new test server. And is it third of July? Yes. So we would start on Monday already with a little head start on the test server, and that would be basically already as well testing out the test server at the same time. Yeah, I think that's a good idea. Um, yeah, Erevan and Kugu are going to be taking care about the spawn. I'm going to build a surprise, I'm not going to spoil yet. Um, I, I, I even had some neat ideas we might explore in the future with that spawn colony. In terms of that, um, Wissy said that he's probably going to start um, working on it on Saturday already. So, since I'm not going to stream tomorrow, you would be even able to start building um, like after the stream. Uh, Wissy can basically already in parallel put another world on this server here and let you start working on it basically. So you could basically already start working today after the stream and until and tomorrow the entire day and until Sunday afternoon when we are going to have our last stream in this column here then. Exactly and you can blame Wizzy for everything that goes wrong as always. I think yeah, right. I guess that's a given. Mm. Everything is... Are people still mourning? I think they stopped now. So I'm going to go from guard tower to guard tower and see if everyone is assigned. The feeling that a lot of guard towers are missing workers. No, they are still mourning. Are they mourning still? Meh. Yeah, that happens if you fire a guard that is wearing armor. Um, that doesn't get updated anymore. <laughs> 
Yeah, we got a guard. Before, before finishing our colony, we triggered the three raids at once. <laughs> and we could make a, a, a raid episode on. Let's see how many we can get on, okay with our guards. On, on Sunday. Really get all our guards together. And then basically finish our colony with it going up in flames. <laughs> <laughs> it's a sandstone colony, so it's pretty difficult to go get it going up in flames. It counts if it's flooded by barbarians. <laughs> yes, uh, we will. I will have uh, Wissy PM you two uh, as soon as he got something ready. Yeah, you will have basically the entire weekend, exactly. And next week, kind of cool. Yeah, we're going to trigger multiple raids. That's going to be fun. Yes, fun. <laughs> <laughs> So you're going to hear, let me hear for an entire new Let's Play series crying about <laughs> the workers we've lost. Now I'm going to I'm going to make sure to trap the essential workers somewhere underground where no one can reach them. In the town hall, we call all wall all in. Ah, uh, Town Hall is relatively dangerous. I would put them down here and just close the the blocks. Oh, that's uh, not a good idea. There's another entrance. Yeah, I would close the other entrance too, yes. So this, this colony ended up pretty huge, after all. Yeah, and we still are missing buildings. And we are still missing we buildings. Space for them. And we don't we don't have space for them either. Even yeah, though we so made a little bit space. All the buildings built, you really run into chunk loading issues. Yeah. It's so far away then. Let me see if we got guards everywhere. Oh, I think we do. We didn't lose anyone last time. I thought we did, but then I might be mistaken. No, last night we were pretty so successful. Ah yes, the last raid, exactly, we didn't lose anyone, true. Did I remember? But I remember in the last episode seeing here and there a message of a worker dying. Yeah. And in this course I are complaining guards are too weak. <laughs> <laughs> Meanwhile our guards are basically killing everyone themselves yeah I think people are a little bit too I don't know maybe I think they expect guards not to die ever I think yeah but yeah it's something that just happens right it's a uh, guard is to protect and sometimes they die too yes I mean, if guards don't don't die regularly, then there is like n n no risk at all, right? Yeah. So that is intentional that the guards here and there die. Although we're going to still be working on general improvements of the guards and AI, yeah. because usually when they die, it's because of getting stuck somehow and these kinds of yeah, things, they right? Shouldn't die because of not fighting. So they shouldn't die because of not fighting, but they should die because of being overpowered or something like that. That's perfectly fine, right? Um, there we go. And then we're going to be playing with the Star Wars set. Star Wars or no? And no space wars. <laughs> With the space wars set, we're going to be playing. So that is going to be interesting. I really love it because it's a lot of underground, but it's also going to mean a lot of digging for the builder. 
but we already did the sandstone colony here. Yeah, but it's a sandstone mix with Acacia colony, not a space warriors colony. That is much okay, more quite similar. Go to a different one. unique style, I would say. There we go. Oh, the artery is still level 2 only. Yeah, I'm going to fly over the Star Wars style <laughs> and make sure I know which buildings are going to be super expensive. I guess like all of them. At least sandstone wise. Huh? I think I think in terms of it's not so expensive because a lot of it is underground. So it doesn't need as much sandstone as the sandstone style. I remember using it and it used a lot of sandstone for its solid placeholder stuff. And it uses mostly uh, dirt now. Even in the desert? Yeah. I'm sure in the desert it's sandstone. So the bad ones are what? Enchanter, Academies and Library. Please let the university not be very expensive because that's an essential building. I don't mind the Academies and the Enchanter to be so expensive and the Library neither because those are fairly optional buildings. But the university should be affordable. That's important. There we go. Oh, yeah, at higher, higher levels it's fine. Until level 3 it should be affordable though. The universities are so fairly expensive. Yeah, like the Acacia University is... I would say a little bit too expensive for my taste. It's one of the cheap ones. Hi Ninja Chipmunk. The, the bigger problem I'm having is the actual amount of um, different resources it needs. That is more the, yeah. the difficulty I see. It needs so many different resources. It that, gets pretty annoying. But it's also because the builder has at the moment this weakness. And that's one of the next things. The next thing I got on my list to be fair. Yeah, we wanted to do it before next uh, week. <laughs> Just and you guys know. <laughs> on, on the early level buildings, it doesn't really matter. But... Uh, it matters pretty much after you have a delivery man. Yeah, then it starts mattering, yes. Since he would not bring stuff in advance, but wait till the builder actually needs it, which makes delivering very, very slow. Okay, very neat. Like the Airwolf noticed. <laughs> Ow. Yeah, but the university is also an essential building, right? That's the yeah, the problem. Uh, it's always like a, I know the universities are like traditionally relatively big and diverse, but uh, it's an essential building. Yeah, I didn't mind that gap. Oh, nice! The restaurant is almost ready. It's looking quite neat with the windows as well. We go th up the stairs. Yes, missing a window here. It's placed a lot of those already. Did you miss this window here, John? Maybe? Or did the builder miss this window here? There's another one here on the other side too. The same thing. So it could be intentional as well. There we go. Let me see how far the builder is. I think it's Chenny building it. Or is it finished already? Uh, all the windows are like that? Okay. No, it's still an upgrade. Some add-ons is cheating! <laughs> I 
found some red concrete block floating bites above our, like, our colony. Ah, yes. <laughs> that is Asher's fault. The red Asher. <laughs> How nice, it's at 79% uh, already. So yeah, on Sunday we're going to make a nice episode. I'm going to make a little bit of a flyby to see things, how things turned out in the yeah. flying mode. I think that would be interesting too. Well, I'm going to still again check. I need... I'm waiting still for some bees, beehives here. Not sure if they do spawn like this. Let me see what the other builder is working on. <laughs> that that was not my intention, Kugo. <laughs> At least we got a concrete worker for that one. So concrete is a black color is a little bit sick because it needs a lot of um, ink sacks, and those are not very easy to get. Oh no, no problem at all. If you were on CurseForge answering question there, that uh, makes us already not do this. <laughs> CurseForge comments is always that people try to report issues there. Yeah. Yeah, I using the GitHub issue tracker or coming on Discord. I mean, um, the comments on CurseForge are fine if people are asking like general questions, like is yeah. is this mod like this and that or great mod. Thanks for making Although it. They could do the very same on Discord. Although they could do the very same on Discord. Although it's it's kind of good because then when people go down there and read the comments. Um, they may they think then as well, oh that's a nice mod, I want to have this too. You get a, fr a lot of ink sacks for free? I don't, I really don't. We have not a lot of ink sacks. Let me check on those. Uh, are we out of iron again? Ink, you 11, that? iron. Um, I think maybe the worker is still smelting on it. Let me double check there. Because we have so many iron requests. You know? Yeah, exactly. For the, I also for very easy questions like, please update the mod. I I answer and all problems. I tell people go to our Discord. Yeah, there's a lot of iron in the smeltery, waiting to be delivered. Uh, not in the warehouse. Yet. Yes. Our demon are a little bit slow. A little bit. I could ask my grandma to deliver something and she'd arrive a day earlier. Okay, see ya Kugo. See ya tomorrow. On on Discord, I mean. This no stream tomorrow. Tomorrow's my day my day off. Now the D-men are not built yet. We're still waiting for it. I absolutely love the delivery man in the Star Wars in the Space Wars style. Because they have like a pot razor <laughs> in their demon station. I mean, you technically could hit a replace the Minecraft texture with a pot razor for the delivery man. Oh, Northwest. I could so, the Minecraft. What texture for uh, our? For the minecart for, for the, the minecarts, yeah, that would be pretty. That would be super epic. <laughs> Wouldn't be too hard, I think. Just need someone to design pop racer. I, I also already said it wouldn't be so difficult to design a bunch of different um, species um, entities for the space wars colony eater. Yeah, like Hedy, folks. <laughs> 
We got the desert raid. Yeah. yeah, unfortunately, the Space Wars Delivery Man 5 needs four end rods. <laughs> <laughs> but that's the Need best. Red. It's the only way I was able to make the connectors to the... <laughs> <laughs> We, we need to add uh, trading. Oh wait, they're down here, are they? I think they are... Oh, I found them. ...in the rest. Uh -huh. Yes, I found them. They're coming. Where? Oh, yeah. And they're splitting up, kinda. I'm still waiting for the guards to come. Oh, back there. Oh wow, and that's kind of bad because they're splitting up. <laughs> I like the more randomized spawn position. Can you go in the other direction? <laughs> yeah, I am. Ouch, ouch, ouch. Help. Are you down there? Yes. Wait, uh, maybe I can do them back. Um. Yeah, I take some for a walk around the mountain. <laughs> <laughs> I I got them almost gone here. Yes, I'm coming now. We got them. Ouch! Follow me, guards. Are you coming from the other side of the mountain? Oh, I am seeing you. Oh, I can't. I can't go further than that because then I'm going to be outside of the colony. Kill them, all of them. I see uh, still a bunch of of them on the other side of the wall, though. Yeah, like five or so are there. Trying to build. Ow, that hurt. Oops. Ouch. It's because you shot me in the back again. Uh, no. I yes. Get all. I got. I got a arrow in the back. Um, there's a config file with the citizen names, basically. Okay, I hate fighting with our guards. <laughs> <laughs> they, they do nothing than walking into my walls. <laughs> <laughs> it's like I'm going to shoot one so he can't get me and the guard box in between that gets the arrow. Okay, I'm going to get my grave quickly. I'm going to call the guards quickly. Oops. So... I guess that one is taken care of. Six guards attacking him. <laughs> Doesn't have a lot of chance here. It's totally cornered. There's another one there though. Ouch! No need to put me on fire. See, was a pretty good you. Kill them. How long do they take to kill him? That one is still alive, right? It's because he has a lot of health. I'm not sure if he even is taking damage. No, I, I already sh shot a bunch of arrows at him too. <laughs> the second time. You're starting to die more often than I am. 
Got him. Hi, Irish Chef. We oh, just got a raid. How much? How many died? Two. Okay, One ranger here. And me twice. And the knight and some ed me once and some addons twice. You can't complain about the guards. They're dying less than we do. <laughs> I was going to complain about them shooting me in the back. <laughs> <laughs> because that's not nice. Let me remove my death points again a little bit, clean that up. There we go. That's better. You had a bunch of arrows all over the place. You got all of them. Neat. Um, I think all our guards made it back, didn't they? Yeah. No, I see some on the other side of the... Yeah, I see a bunch of them on the other side of the hill. So let's, uh, let me check out. They all seem in the water. <laughs> oh, wow! <laughs> All stuck. <laughs> All stuck. I'm going to buy you, uh, build you guys a, a way up. See, that's why we did gates. There you it's guys like go. Kind of perfect for guards and barbarians. Because I think... both try to pass through it, so they meet each other there. Ah, there's water. There's like flowing water there. That's why they're. Stuck. It's the yeah, it's not very good swimmers. Flowing water. I gave them a speed boost recently, so they don't get stuck in flowing water anymore. Wasn't enough, seemingly. Let me walk here. Maybe they are trying to pass forward, but. Might be a passing issue with going out of water. Now there's still I'm I still detect I'm flowing in this direction. Yeah. I'll take care of it. Just have to be able to click this position. Oh I found a letter needed. But they're still kind of stuck, but a few of them got up here. Another few are still stuck here. Very stuck. And now yeah. even trying to shoot at me. <laughs> Maybe we need a passing issue. Yeah. Uh, yeah, we just talked about that a little bit ago in Ninja Chipmunk. We are going to have a kind of witch type guard relatively soon. That is exactly going to do that. Okay, let me put this back and then I'm going to just re recall those guards. That's going to be much quicker. Yeah. Uh, that's not going to be the enchanter, it's going to be like a witch type that's going to heal and buff. Exactly. As well as damage and poison. Um, let me go to the... Yeah, I'm not sure why they're derping around there. To recall all of them. It's the easiest way. Water can get fairly derpy. Yes, there is already a pull request for that. Work in progress. Dam the dam, and I'm going to go to the other barracks too. Yeah, I'm going to, to the other barracks too. 
Uh, I think that is going to make our combat mechanics a little bit interesting as well, more interesting. Yeah, it's going to be like a witch type um, guard. Yes, it's not going to be a new building, actually. It's just going to be a new type of guard. You can select on the... You can just say this here. On this side, page here. You can... It's going to be a random selection as well. You can get a witch type too. Well, I'm going to... I'm going to wait a little bit. But you it should not be necessary to wait very long because we just had a raid. So citizens are were not very far yet on their way home to sleep. Um meanwhile yeah, Forge is progressing with 116. I'm bothering Nightenum to update to start porting structurize before he takes his trip. <laughs> um, I did port already the vanilla plus tools, like the the hammer mod and the shovel three by three shovel mod, as well as my um, no phantom no cry mod. <laughs> we're going to have to see first how this is actually going to play out. I'm going to balance things nicely always. Yeah, it it disables phantoms. Uh, it's not a very popular mod yet. I made that a little bit of time ago. Because I dislike phantoms a lot yeah my estimate is more or less two weeks maybe three weeks to have my colonies ready birch planks I guess I planted the right thing It bothers me a lot when I just run around and mine a bit and then go um, exploring and then they start bothering me a lot, usually. Put that one a bit closer here. Or, or when they started attacking your citizens. Uh, it, it's, it also has a bunch of rendering updates, so the main thing, the main pain thing is going to be um, fixing the GUIs, as far as I heard. And the mods that are going to have a lot of pain as well are going to be dimension mods and world generation, as far as I heard. There was a lot of world generation updates too. So, luckily we didn't touch world generation generation yet. Yeah. Although it should, on the long term, it's probably going to be great for world gen mods. Because they can more easily configure the things, I believe. If you say so. Yes, uh, the, it's going to be Terraforged with Biomes of Plenty. Uh, on the new Patreon server. This time we are using Biomes of Plenty. Birch, yes. <laughs> and this time we will use Biomes of Plenty. Yeah. This time Wizzy is going to make the world and not Asher and Orion. <laughs> uh, wood? That is wool, not wood. What stuff here? Do we have? Planks and logs. There, birch logs. There we go. Th th thanks, John. <laughs> Completely forgot about the birch I wanted. Did one that one he grew? No beehive yet. 
disappointed. Jump. There we go. Okay, let's see what he needs. And all of that should be in the warehouse for the Barracks Tower 5. We have some plans for some world generation things in the future for autonomous colonies. That would fall into world generation, I believe. One to five percent. That seems like a very low rate. I guess we won't see a beekeeper then yet. Yeah, yeah but I need in, to get one in the wild. I need um, silk, touch. silk touch, and we don't have silk touch. We can try again to make another silk touch tool. But we failed the last time. I think Asher is using our silk touch tool at the moment. This Asher. Okay. Yeah, the rapid herder is a new food supply. 26? I don't want all that much. 24. Also efficiency only. Can I just... Um, I need some lapis. Do we have some lapis here? Valuables. Colon lapis, that's the name. Lapis ore. I need to melt that down quickly. I think our warehouse has some lapis. <laughs> <laughs> Everything is there already besides the main board. That sounds like a pain because that's the most important piece. Yeah. Smeltable. There we go. Oh, there's some lapis here already. Neat. Ouch. Mind the gap, I guess. Oh, I have some books with me I can enchant quickly too. That's probably better than trying to enchant my axe. Okay. Okay, I want to enchant this. There's no silk touch. So I'm going to, I'm going to mine this block here. I'm going to place it here, far away from the things. So you can just do a level one enchantment. And then I try and then have to mine it again. That seems like, ow, now, like a tedious pro. Do we even have enough? Book chefs there yet? Um, 25. Efficiency 3. No. I don't want efficiency 3. And I'm going to my up do this again like a shovel. There we go. And we go back, mine it again. Put it back. <laughs> this is tedious. Efficiency 3? Uh, kidding me. Another shovel here. There. Soul bound. Great. Oops. Didn't want to place that. Back. Or I can use torches to change enchanting power. That might be quicker than what I am doing. Do I have? I have sticks and I have coal with me, so I can get some torches. If that is better, what I gotta do something like this. Oh, neat. Okay. Um. So I'm going to champ this here with the level. Going to remove the torches again. Uh, 
Come on, come on. Fortune 2. No, that is still not what I want. Although the thing with the torches was even more tedious <laughs> than the other thing. A book. Okay, we're going to enchant the book this time. With what? No, I want only one level. Come on, only one level. What else can I... Another book. I don't want this to cost two levels. Come on. Going to dump some stuff here somewhere. Wherever. What are you preparing here? We had a hole missing then. <laughs> I, I'm al always very suspicious for everything some Adams does. I always expect him to mess something up. <laughs> Yeah, I thought about multi-blocking the shelves too. I actually wanted to do it, but then I got lazy. Okay, there's no way. Um, mine it again. Put it again. Efficiency 4. No, no, that's not what I want. I'm almost... I'm losing all my levels and I'm, I'm going to have to run back later. Oh, it's just to cost two levels again. Darn it. Efficiency 3? Really? Another book? Another level gun? <laughs> we have one more book. Ah, no, wrong place. Come on, please, please. Fortune 2, come on. <laughs> The stream is not, not just going to be this, me complaining about the enchantment system of Minecraft. <laughs> okay, okay, this time. I have a good feeling about this. Efficiency 3. Um, I have to dump those books. What are you doing, some addons? <laughs> I knew that he was doing shit. A le really? A letters? <laughs> You're kidding me. <laughs> you set up the stone dispensers with letters? For letter dispenser. And did you test it? Because it wouldn't work. Uh, no. Because dispensers no don't dispense yeah, on top of uh, on top of buttons. Um pressure braids, I mean. Can you sleep quickly? Like, do something useful <laughs> that is not doing weird stuff, that is dropping letters. Yeah, I checked already all the books in the warehouse, but none of them had it, unfortunately. I'm down to level 15, so I'm going to have to go to the nether to get a bunch of levels. Unbreaking 3. No, I don't want Unbreaking 3. Is there a minimum level for... I guess the, there's a level lower chance to get it, right? Okay, let me get a bunch of those axes I saw. Those will be easy to enchant. Oh no. Thomas and... Um... Unbreaking again. Back and forth. Uh. Silk touch, there we go. Now we just gotta get 20 levels. How many le- I uh, know it's player specific, right? Yeah, I think so. So I'm going and to I go to the... 18 levels. 20 levels? So I just gotta get 10 levels in the nether quickly. That should be not so bad. Yeah, you can just uh, kill the next raid alone. <laughs> the next raid alone, without guards, because they get a bunch yeah. of the levels too. Yeah, yeah, guards get more stuff to experience. 
they kill most of the of the of the mobs too, so I guess it's kind of fair. Yeah. It it's makes makes it harder to get experience. What is harder? It makes it harder, yes. So up we go. That music was bothering me a little bit. Mm. Ah, there we go. Didn't see that. That was relatively close. I'm still wondering how Mojang still hasn't fixed the desync of the experience after you go to another dimension. No idea. Have they fixed it in 116? Yeah, if you want you can join voice. But only if you have such a beautiful voice and English accent as me and some Adams have. That's kinda the requirement. Um, where? There it's, that seems to find direction to go. Thirteen still. I'm running. I really do love how the nether looks with shaders. So I'm guess I'm kind of looking forward on... Okay, that might need a few years. <laughs> Now I guess Optifine porting to 116 shouldn't be so bad. Most of the rendering stuff is QI related. Hello. Hi Minecraft Charlie. There we go. Did you die? No. I found not yet. You okay. know you get the enchantment only the first one you see. Oh lord, I just noticed something really bad. I, I was thinking I'm not getting a lot of experience. Yeah, mending. <laughs> because I got mending on all my equipment. Eh. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's, <laughs> it's almost all repaired, so... You're a radio presenter? Ah, uh, that's neat. I guess you got the full on... Um, radio presenter accent as well. Neat. Uh. Tell us, are you bored with a radio presenter voice or is that something you train? <laughs> Um, there. Oh, how much I love the desync of Twitch. How? Ah, yes. And it's a little. There is a delay if you listen to to both. <laughs> the delay is relatively big. But YouTube was much worse. I think YouTube was like three minutes or so. Yeah, YouTube is like almost two minutes, three minutes. Yes. Always, so so you mean a career as a radio presenter, if I fail in academia, is not going to be the best way for me then. There we go, we're going there. We got our experience um, counting down. That's true. If everyone sounded the same, that would be super boring. It would also be very weird because every time someone calls you, you're like, Daddy, is that you? And it's like, No, I'm your teacher. You're like, Damn it. <laughs> 
if you were all named voice, you could tell who's even talking. Yeah, that would be super... People would have kind of... There would be a huge market on making um, voice apps actually would um, automatically change the okay. pitches randomly of people <laughs> to make sure that you can keep them apart. Or you have to say your name every time before you say anything. I mean, that looks, that sounds kind of like an Adam Sandler movie to me. <laughs> Good. Um, yeah, but it was, it was, it's like everyone looking the same. That would also resound in very weird things. Besides all the impersonating problems. <laughs> yeah. 20. We're going somewhere. Almost. Okay, there we go. They talk about kind of work. Yeah. And for the enchanting, uh, be sure to enchant with the efficiency one, because it's extremely rare to have the one, the silk uh, touch as the first enchant. No, but I got one with silk touch now, and the and then uh, is the next in the list. So I'm going to be fine. The next one is going to be silk touch, the first in the list. Yeah, you found it. So. I found it. Yeah, I think for singers it's probably pretty good to have distinct voices. Although there are a lot of singers that then don't even know how to sing well, and it's more like marketing behind it, right? You don't even have to know how to think. Uh, to think. To think neither. Neither to think, but nor to sing. To become a singer and famous. Yeah. Same as for actors. You don't know... Don't have to know how to act to become a famous actor. I mean, uh, we all know Arnold Schna Schwarzenegger. I still need some levels. I'm already back. Let me run into the other direction a little bit. Maybe in this direction. How? How many did you need? Uh, ten levels. Um, three levels left. It's not so far. Oh, that's a bit big gap I have to mind. There we go. Arnold Schwarzenegger. Yeah, he's Austrian. And after living how many years in the US, he still has the same accent. <laughs> and that's, uh, that's what I would call art as well. Although I guess if he lost his accent, he would lose basically his entire value as an actor. No one would hire him with a perfect English accent or even close. Yeah. Sometimes he sometimes at home when he spoke speaks to his wife, speaks like in perfect fluent English and then like oh I have an interview. Let me train this a little bit. <laughs> The funny thing is, he uh, learned to speak English, but forgot how to speak German. Did he forget how to speak German? Well, he gives interviews and the interviewer asks him in German, but he answers in English. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I guess he has a very one-track mind. <laughs> yep. Could I could imagine all those uh, growth hormones he took kind of took over parts of his brain as well <laughs> um, Let me just put away of these things Almost almost we're almost there 24 
Let's get some extra two level, uh, an extra little bit of levels. Now that we're down here already, right? There we go. There. Ah, nice. A big one. Almost there. 25. Break the remaining ones. There we go. Now, just going back to the colony. Just have to find my way back now. So it's up here. Good. Oh, there's some more. It doesn't cost. Um, I, I could actually imagine him still speaking German decently, but he probably would have a kinda American accent. And I could imagine that he's like, nah, that's people are going to criticize me, so I prefer speaking English like that yeah. than a weird German accent. I mean, I mean, I know how it is when I don't speak English German for a long while. And then I start speaking with my parents, etc. I start having a weird German accent in times as well. I already did lose my um, German accent in terms of the German dialect I used to speak. Oops. There we go. Really some add-ons, more letters. The thing is, the choke is on you, because I got a full inventory. <laughs> 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 that choke was on you. All that work for nothing. Why oh, your reaction was enough? <laughs> oh, uh, there we go. For a nice decoration. Silk touch. Oh, I have to gather some experience. Ugh. Oh, I got a bottle of enchantment somewhere. Somewhere here it dropped off. I could use that. Um, just need one, I think that's enough, gaining some experience. There we go. Wait. Oops. Diamond pickaxe. Silk touch. And it's only got silk touch on it too. As long as that is safe touch. That's better than it. definitely good. So it was a birch biome, wasn't it? That has the likelihood. Uh, I'm going for a little trip, I guess. Birch forest, flower forests. Yeah, flower forests are a little bit more difficult to find, but I know there is, I think, a birch forest a little bit in this direction here. <laughs> I guess if any forest is probably just running through it and there is a chance to finding it. Run forest, run! Let me switch the music again.
Oh, I'm going to mine the... With Silk Touch. Do I still need a campfire if I mine it with Silk Touch? Do not be attacked by bees. Yes. Yes. Do I have... I, I think I have the blocks I need for that with me. Oh, I didn't know that one. I do not know a lot about bees, to be honest. I've not done anything yet with bees. At all. Oh, I did um, gossip a lot about 115 being an unnecessary update and I could have put the bees together with another update and spared us a lot of porting and division work okay. among the versions. Like bees isn't such a big update. Yeah, locks I can get at the place. And... I guess sticks I get from logs, so that should be fine. And coal I got with me. I'm not sure what they even added in the nether update yet. Uh, they, add just <laughs> they, they added a bunch of nether biomes. So the nether is going to be much more interesting to, to go through. I mean, if you didn't use any modded biomes for the nether yet. No, but th those look actually f fairly nice, I have to say. Even compared to modded biomes. Where's That's the sick touch one. Yeah, I added a new mob for the biomes as well. And... Sometimes I wonder if they always test with chunk distance for us or to so <laughs> not get licked by the, all their mobs. <laughs> That's a good question. Are they like on our supercomputer in yeah, on the fine. on the it Apple Mega Clown no. Cloud? We had 24 TPS. I think that sounds fine. There we go. And campfire. Yeah, this I year. don't think they really test any multiplayer performance. It's like Minecraft yeah. is a single player game. I, I mean, we we already know they did not even test realms <laughs> with this before yeah, this update. I'm really only one. No, not test. Okay, and now silk touch. I got my first beehive! Nice! Hey! <laughs> yeah! Hey. Another crafting bench in the wild too, yes. Okay. Oh, that's a neat mod idea. You get make a despawning crafting bench. What happened to my campfire? When I mine a campfire, does it disappear? You need silk touch. Ah, for a campfire yeah, too. Campfire. Yeah. Who makes up these things? <laughs> Guess. <laughs> Guess what, Mojang. <laughs> Mojang. <clears throat> <laughs> really, talking about the game company that is so lucky that they got a talented modder community because <laughs> else it would be dead already. <laughs> Okay, we got it. Okay, I got silk touch, so that should not be a problem. Let me see if I can find another one. Finding a few, maybe. Just for the case. Yeah, I guess you, with data packs you can change all the loot tables you want. I guess some Edmonds is going to make a mod that is going to just add letters to all entity loot tables. That's a good idea. That could be a I funny April 1st to joke too. April 1st update. I, I make it like the cook, where the NPC walks to the player nearby and gives him some letter. 
And that's for all my colony citizens. All my colony citizens, if player in range, give him <laughs> letters. That would be fun. <laughs> A data pack to just change uh, changes the um, resource pack background of an inventory and makes it look like it's full of letters. <laughs> That's nice. That would be a neat one. People would be like so angry. I can't do anything. My inventory is full of letters. Can you sleep quickly? I can't see a thing. Yeah. <laughs> ah, nice. Now I can see again. Um, those beehives are not so easy to find, actually, are they? I found one no. so far. There are more. Where? Yeah. So like that one I was already, so let me go here into this little forest too. I wonder what you even do with them if you don't have any mods. With honeycomb and honey somewhat useful? They're the honey blocks you can craft out of them. Yeah, those slime like blocks. I guess for automation and stuff also. They just look fairly interesting. Like you can do some interesting builds with them. And it, I think it has also some like healing qualities or so. So much for the big B update. Uh, yeah. It's like one item, one block, one entity. Yeah, one yeah, it's, it. it's, it's something a modder does in a weekend. Yeah, basically that. That, that is out of question. And they get 4k per month for that. Yeah, and not just one guy. Yeah, they got a team of 60 team of people in the Java people edition team. Taking half a year to do what a modder does in a weekend. <laughs> Basically. For a hundredth of the money. <laughs> Is that a bee hive? No. I was Funding Mojang, I just outsource it all. Yeah, to, hey, I got, I to, to be honest, you just need a few guys that are good in code review. Yeah. Make it open source and let people make pull requests to Minecraft. I mean, who who cares about that? They would make so much money out of that, probably. Yeah, so much extra money. And making, especially yeah. in the Java edition, oh, making yeah. just the Java edition open source. There's so much money to be made around it, I believe. But for that, you gotta be kind of smart. And. But it's Mojang, so. And it's, it's Mojang. Exclusive. <laughs> and. The dev say, let's make it open source. The lawyers say, nah. Yeah. I probably there are a lot of people who still do not have the slightest idea what open source means. And what... I mean, there are like a lot of companies that... Even though... The comp let's say the companies are smart, even though they're like super malicious. <laughs> like a lot of the... Uh, open source web libraries, etc. Um, Facebook and Google, etc. made open source. It's not of the goodness of their hearts, but to make their libraries standards, to get a lot more easier developers for it, and to get it kind of tested and developed for the future by all the community developers, right? Yeah. Like React.js, oh, nice. protocol buffers. 
I mean, how do you make sure that your library is really robust? You don't only employ it on your servers, but you employ it on everyone's servers by making it open source, right? Yeah, it's similar to blockchain, where most companies have no idea either what it means. But they know one thing, and it means money. <laughs> blockchain, you mean money? Yes, yes, I like that. I definitely like that. Um, I guess we're we're fine with the one beehive we have. It's getting fairly late. Um, I'd say we're going to finish here. Um, I think there is a bee inside, yes. There are two NBT tags on it. So I guess two bees. Um, I'm going to teleport back to the colony. There we go. Reload the chunks, take the beehive, place it. Somewhere here around, should be fine. There we go. I have to turn off these spruce trees again. Cherry blossom wasn't it right? Sunny blossom? Was it a sunny blossom? I guess it was this one here. Yes. Uh, to be or not to be? <laughs> there we go. Um, let's go up here. on our lucky tree okay um we've had a little bit of progress this episode not as much as usually we got our two builders doing some big upgrades you can see here the cook here is almost ready always already working here at the top part um we got finally our at least our um, beehive so we might use that on sunday um thanks everyone for tuning in if you want to support our uh, development, you can follow, subscribe, and become a Patreon. Um, you're going to see me on Sunday again. Tomorrow is my time off. Good night and have fun, everyone. Good, have a nice weekend. Ciao, ciao.